The Perseverance rover sends back a daily stream of images from its many cameras, which are quickly posted to this NASA public website. But on June 16th, the stream dried up, fueling concerns with each passing day. On this episode of Mars Guy, Pathfinder was the first Mars mission flown in the internet age, and thanks to NASA's decision to put it all out there, it was a viral sensation before anyone knew what that meant. Since then, we've grown accustomed to NASA Mars missions releasing new images within hours of being sent to Earth. Sometimes things go wrong, though, like on every single Mars mission ever flown. But flight software is written with robust fault protections that often save the day, or SOL, as the 24-hour and 39-minute day on Mars is known. The first time software shut down Perseverance was on SOL 259 during its attempt to drill a core sample, only its fourth time ever. Here's Mars Guy for scale. One of the many command sequences needed for this operation clashed with recently updated flight software. Rather than locking up the computer with a blue screen of death or wheel, depending on your OS, spacecraft flight software is designed to enter safe mode. This cancels further sequences and reconfigures communication windows with Earth, then waits for further instructions. Perseverance has entered safe mode at least four times since arriving in February of 2021, each time returning to nominal operations within three SOLs. Looks like this happened again, starting on SOL 826, but in ways unlike any before. Trouble started on the previous SOL when just two images were downlinked, taken at the start and end of the SOL. All other activities appear to have been dropped. Then nothing came down on SOL 826 or in the next four SOLs, so an unprecedented five SOLs of nothing. Mars Guy was starting to worry. Then, without any explanation, downlinked images resumed on SOL 831, beginning with observations of the recently drilled hole that finally produced a core sample after two failed attempts, as I reported in the previous episode. Among the new batch of images are some from the telescope used by SuperCam to find the spots zapped by its laser to get elemental composition. But it also can be used to make far-off observations, in this case of a very weird boulder, probably delivered by raging floodwaters from the river that flowed into Jezero Crater. Here's the best view of it with the zoom lens on MassCam Z from about 30 meters closer, which presumably inspired the subsequent look using SuperCam. It looks like a rock with a hole through the top. The view with SuperCam does indeed show a rock with a hole through the top, but also one out the back. This is probably due to cavernous weathering, maybe initiated while it was still part of the original outcrop. Here are some examples in Chile in a volcanic ash deposit known as ignimbrite. Cavernous weathering involves some combination of chemical and mechanical erosion. In this desert environment, salt formation combined with sand blasting by wind contribute to the erosion. There's another much smaller and closer example right next to Perseverance. So it looks like some of the cobbles and boulders washed into Jezero are susceptible to this kind of erosion. The long-term plan is to drive out of the crater and explore the rocks beyond, which may provide in-place examples of cavernous weathering. Meanwhile, as of this posting, two days have passed without any new downlink, so I hope Perseverance really is okay.